Hey guys, welcome back. So guys, in this video, we are continuing our Laravel Firebase for PHP series. And now guys, in this video, we'll be learning how to set up a template for a Laravel application. So guys, now like a navbar, we will design and one simple card with the contact form. Okay. So guys, let's continue to build this. So let's move to our application. Let's close. Let's move to routes, web.php and route colon colon get function where you are going to create with the contacts where you are going to create one controller. So that will be the contact controller colon colon class where you will call index page. Okay, index function. Let's comment this and create one controller guys first. So PHP artisan make colon controller. I want this controller to be created inside Firebase folder forward slash contact controller. Okay, hit enter. So you can go to app HTTP controller. You'll find Firebase folder contact controller. Perfect. So now guys, let's create a function public function with the name index function and yep let's kill this terminal return view where you will tell inside my firebase folder dot contact folder dot index page okay so let's move to resource views inside this views let's create a Firebase folder and one more folder with the name contact done and inside this contact folder I want to create a index.blade.php file perfect so inside this Firebase folder not under contacts we are going to Firebase folder and create a file with the name app.blade.php all set now guys you need to set up the files so first let's go to welcome which is provided by the laravel let's move top and just copy few things let's copy this paste get back move below and this is your body tag guys perfect so close the body now guys you can just py3 and above this you can use include function to include the navbar so let's create one inc folder inside that navbar dot blade dot php file okay so let's create that inside the firebase folder so this is my firebase folder inside this firebase folder i want a folder with the name inc and this is the navbar dot blade.php so guys now let's move to our app so this navbar is called perfect so now over here we need to yield it yield that will be your content done so guys we are going to use bootstrap 5 for the designing purpose so let's go to getbootstrap.com click on docs let's move below this is css link copy it and paste all set let's remove this extra thing and the bundle file under js copy it paste and let's remove this we do not require it all set guys so now let's create one navbar navbar Let's copy this navbar. Go to your file navbar, paste. We don't require few things, so let's remove it. And all set, guys. And instead of BG light, we'll give primary. Save. Laravel firebase and this is your link 
so we will tell this will be a contacts contacts list and create the url guys over here url which will be a contacts the route we have created okay save it let's close this file now let's get back to our index page let's extend that extends which which comes under firebase folder dot app file and the section is content okay so this content you need to just call that cool all set guys and let's see the output so can get over here give contacts okay route is not called why we have commented it let's uncomment and import this class guys so just import the class of it and you can find it out perfect so let's make this a white color guys go to your navbar dark and make this to container that's it refresh perfect so click on contact list you'll be over here so same thing if you require on this home page just need to add this code so let's take this go to your welcome blade and remove paste remove this body tag and just end the section guys paste all set so you can find it contacts list perfect so now let's get back close this welcome and now guys you can create one container row column md12 where card card header inside this h4 tag you are going to tell contact list so card body here will be your all the contact data so we'll see in further videos next video we'll be learning how to insert the data so at that time i will show you add contact add a class guys over here button button small button primary okay so create a href url where you will tell add contact perfect let's float end so save and see the output refresh under contact perfect guys so when you click on this add contact that should go and insert the data so we will see in next video so guys we have successfully learned how to set up a laravel file that is we have learned about the laravel templating okay so guys in this video that's it let's continue next video to insert the data into our real-time database so thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share